Welcome to the 3D Animation Hub! I'm Brian, your friendly non-alcoholic 3D animator, and today we're taking a look at Rain. Rain is a character rig for Blender, which can be found on the Blender Cloud. I'll have the link down below in the description for you guys to find, don't worry. Essentially what we're doing is I'm bringing the rig in for you guys, showing you guys how to do that, showing you guys how to set it up to start animating with the rig. And as Blender rigs go, it's usually a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So I'll cover all that for you guys. And on top of that, we'll just be reacting to it from an animator's perspective. So if all that sounds like a good time, make sure to smash that like button, check all my socials down below, and let's hop in. Okay, so just a little reminder, we're hopping in right now, and I'm assuming you guys know the basics of 3D animation in Blender. If you don't, if you're a Maya user, or if you're not familiar with 3D programs at all, I've got a video for you. So go check that out. I'll have the link up there for you guys somewhere. You can click, and it'll be in the description as well. So go check that out. Come back to this once you've watched that entire thing, because I cover everything you need to know if it's your first time stepping into Blender. And before we start, if at any point you like what I'm saying or you appreciate the content, you can show that appreciation by smashing the schnitzel hazard kick out of that like button. All right, let's hop in. So uh, what I have here is my directory to my rain rig, which again, I'll have the link for you guys in the description to download. You just download it. You put it wherever you want to put it. I'm just copying the directory here. I'm going to Blender, File, Link, paste in the directory up here, and here it is, Rain V2. Usually, again, usually in Maya, when you you know, when you find a rig and you want to reference it in, you just click on it, and you press Link or Reference. But again, Blender is a little bit different. I heard that they're working on this. I heard it's going to be a lot less complicated in the newer versions. But you know, we'll see. We'll see. So what you have to do is double click on Rain, go in, go into Collections and click CH Rain, which I'm assuming it stands for Character Rain. So this is uh, essentially the model. This, this is what we're gonna be working with. I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna link it, and I'm just gonna delete this cube right here. We don't need that. And as you guys can see, there aren't any textures there, but we'll fix that, don't worry. So there she is in the outliner right there. And another thing you guys might notice is that there is no controllers on her. So what we have to do is we have to select her and create a proxy. So once you have her selected, go to Object, Relations, Make Proxy, and this essentially links the character with the rig that the character has. So we're gonna go ahead and click on rig rain and there we go. Now we have her rig. And again, if you're new to Blender, uh, this is where you're gonna realize that you can't actually, even when you click on the rig, you can't actually, you know, move any individual controllers. So what you have to do is either go up here, change it from object mode to pose mode, once you have the rig selected, or another thing I do is I press control, tab, and that changes it from object mode to pose mode. So now we can start moving her around. There we go, and then again, Control tab changes it back to object mode. You can't move it. That's just a fast way to go in and out of different characters if you have multiple characters on set. The first thing I notice is that we got both IK controls up here and we got FK controls up here. And I, I don't know which is which. And let's see if FK does anything. FK doesn't do anything. So it's an IK, but we still have FK controllers. Another thing is that there's no face controllers here. And we're going to fix all that. So what I want you to do is first save the file. So I'm gonna save this into my desktop. Let's say rig test underscore rain, save blender file. And now I am going to file, revert, and then click revert again. And it asks you if you want to run the script and I'm gonna say allow execution. And now we have our skin. And on top of that, when we press N, now we have this cloud tab. And with this cloud tab, we get all the controllers for rain. And you can even, wow, you can even change the skin tone. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's cool. You can just, ch you can change her skin tone as well. This is super, super customizable. That's awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna make our way all the way down from the top. Gonna walk you guys through exactly what all these controllers mean and what they do. But first, I need a sip of my mimosa, uh, orange juice, my orange juice. <sighs> I swear I love my job. Okay, first thing we got, dummy eyes. All I can see that do is just take the texture away. Eye darts, that just seems to be a reflection on the eyes. 
Mask arm. That's awesome. Mask leg. One thing that helps when you're animating something is when you want to sell the action with the body alone and you know not the limbs, not the head, not the mouth. The same is true with lip sync. When you want to sell a lip sync, when you want to sell an, uh, an action that you know that has lip sync, you want to sell it with the body first, with the body movements and just gestures and stuff. And then you can add the lip sync as like a secondary on top of that. So for this, when you're animating maybe like body mechanics, it's super cool that you could actually hide the arms. So when you're animating just the legs and the body, you don't have to focus on what the arms are going to be doing. You can add that after. So it's just super, super cool that this rig allows you to do that. And same when it's an upper body action, you could just turn off the legs. That's pretty awesome. I personally haven't had a rig that could do that. Usually in Maya, I have to go and make a layer myself and try and like hide those uh, geo, but it's just it's super cool that the picker that comes with this character lets you do that. Next, we got ponytail. So you can hide the ponytail, you can hide the extra hair, hair strand if you're just trying to go for like a basic animation, you don't want too many controllers. The scarf, you can hide that too, that's awesome. And so the layer, this is where you can show and hide different um, layers, be it FK or IK. Okay, so here we can hide the IK. Now we just see the FK controllers, which is what we want. Just gonna drag this out a little bit more so we can read everything. All right, so here we have the option to turn stretch on. Let's check this out. Oh, that's awesome. So we get, I just pressed the shift Z to go into wireframe mode. And those circular things, these things are all the stretch options that the character has, which is honestly amazing. Oh my God, this is, uh... <laughs> This is probably like this is pretty on par with some of the uh, some of the top tier rigs in Maya. I'm loving this so far. Okay, so we have stretch, we have FK, IK. We can turn on the face primary, so that brings up all the controllers on the face because those were in there before. Let's see what sort of uh, actions we can make here. Press the period on the number pad to focus on this controller. This seems to be the jaw. So let me go to items. Yeah. Yeah, so this seems to be the jaw. And so, you know, it's, it's moving a lot more than I want it to move. So I'm gonna hold shift. And now it's moving a lot slower. That's cool, that's nice. Let's check out some of these tweakers. We got the rest of the face being affected by it as well. That's fantastic. It's a little nose controller. This is really great stuff. I'm, I'm loving this right now. I might make a demo reel piece with this. This is great. Okay, so we got before I, before I geek out, we got face primaries, we got face secondaries. What does that give us? Ooh, with this we get squash and stretch on the top half, on the bottom half. Oh my god, you can slide on and off the entire face. That's crazy. Okay, we don't need that. We're not going to be using that. And then we got face tweakers. Wow, that's a lot of tweakers. So we can go in and just really get the shapes we're looking for. This is actually great. Um, I've been taking up streaming like making poses maybe do like an hour and a half of streaming where i just try to make very dynamic poses in 3d so i th i think i'm gonna use this rig this is great that'll be both educational for me and for you guys okay next up we got fingers awesome let's curl these bad boys up okay so if you guys notice i try to curl all the fingers i have all the controllers selected but what happens is it rotates from the origin, the first, the very first key I selected. You can fix this by going to this little chain and then changing it to individual origins. And now when I do that, it starts rotating all the controllers at the same time. And now we can curl these bad boys. Do we have any curl options here? So I'm clicking on the FK properties. No, this thing. Oh, that's just the squash. Whoa. Okay, so that's fingers. Next up. We can turn on the hair controllers and they come with a squash and stretch too. That's awesome. The clothes, the scarf has controllers as well. That's great. I'm going to turn these off for now. Okay, so next up we got the FK IK switches. Here I think we can uh, switch the spine to FK and IK. Here we can individually select each arm. So for example, I can bring the... So right now this controller does nothing. And if I bring the right arm down, this controller should start affecting the left arm, or sorry, the right arm. And the same for the legs, you can turn FK and IK on here by dragging this. And of course, just like everything else in Blender, you can set a keys on this. So you just right click here and then insert key. 
and it'll set a key for you. You can go to the uh, frame 10 and then bring this all the way up and I'll set another key. Okay, we're scrolling down a little bit more. We got uh, IK stretch for arms, legs, and spine. Self-explanatory, I'm guessing it just turns on the stretch. So for example, if, if I drag this arm out, we see that the arm stretch is on. If I reduce the arm stretch, that means our arm won't stretch anymore and it'll just reach its maximum uh, capacity of like stretching. Okay, so we got the eye controllers here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we got sticky eyelids. So this is when the eyelids actually follow the eye controller. This will help create some more realism when you're animating. So we have a scroller for that. Now, if you guys can see, the eyelids are actually moving up and down with the eye. Sticky eye socket. Ooh, what does this do? Okay, so we got more movement in the eye area now with the eye socket on. And here we got eye target, which I'm assuming is um, where we would want the eye controller to stick to. So for example, here uh, you can switch it to head. And so when you move the head, the eye socket should move with it. Or sorry, rather the eye controller should move with it. But you can switch this to root. And now when you move the head, there shouldn't be any movement on the eye socket and the eye tries to stay in the same location. That's also pretty freaking cool. There's so many controllers here. This is everything you'd want in a rig right here. I don't know what else you want. You would want. I mean, look at all these little controllers you get on the face. You can control everything. You can get as detailed as you possibly want. And on top of that, it's super customizable. It's super customizable. Super customizable. <laughs> It's super customizable. <laughs> so it's super customizable where you can change the clothing color as as your heart contends. Let's dive into olive haired girls. My girlfriend has olive hair, just for reference. If I chose another color, she would have my head. Let's say our character hasn't brushed their teeth in three years. Or their bread. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... This is just insane. Color of teeth. You could change gum color. Where are the gums at? Oh, they're all the way up there. Purple gum color. This is insane. The jeans. Change them to, you can change saturation, change them black. The shoes. Let's get some nice Nikes going. This is, this is freaking wonderful. Honestly, I was going to say I wish I had this in Maya, but I, I'm a sworn blender user now. So <laughs> no, this is, this is great. Honestly, I love this rig. I'll have the link that, uh, down below to where you can download it. I'm sure they have some sort of uh, support button. So just make sure to support the creators because this rig is bomb. Oh my god. And I think that's about it. I'm, I'm definitely going to be so... Again, follow me on my socials. I'm definitely going to be streaming soon. I'm thinking of doing poses for about an hour and a half. I'll probably start that off in YouTube and then switch over to Twitch. Follow me on Instagram, I update there more frequently. And I just wanna give a huge thank you to my beautiful Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support of the channel. You can also help the channel out by going down below, clicking on the Patreon link, or, or and, you can get two months of free membership for Skillshare, where you can learn from thousands of different artists, me included. I have my Gumroad lesson up on Skillshare as well. If you click the link down below, you get two months for free. Go check that out. With all that out of the way, happy animating, and I will see you guys in the next video.